happy to see you. We've had our first snow this year. We've had Thanksgiving. We've had some great time with your family. And talk about gratitude. But that's what that day is now about. We're also moving into Hanukkah starting and the Christmas season. And I'm really excited to share those shows with you as we train this month. So before we get started, some objects we need. We're going to need a chair. If you have a noodle or a hula hoop, or can tape a circle on the ground, those are some things that we're going to do because we're going to two things this month. So turn those in your eyes. Ch -ch -ch. Super boots. Ch -ch -ch. Muscles. Ch -ch -ch. And laser beam eyes. Two things we're working on. This Excellent. Being better than we were the day before, working on being our favorite self and courage. Because it takes a lot of hard work and there are going to be scary moments. But together in your great tight circle, who has your back, you can achieve both these things on the mat and out in the world. On the mat and in life. So let's bow in and get started. I'm a dedicated yes. one. I'm a dedicated one. Creed, begin. is towards the opposite side. And we're gonna push out. Say one, bring it back. So you wanna have a crown on your head and your shoulders back. Breathing deeply, because our breath control is very important when it comes to courage. Out, and back. One more. Out, back, and turn down. Well done, let's go to the other side. Roll the shoulders back. Reach mm. and stretch it out, roll the shoulders back. Put our grounded foot, shoulders up, knee, rotate, heel and tushkas, all the way out, back, one more, out, back, keep those shoulders back, breathing deeply, out, back, and rotate down. So what are the nasal kicks? Side kicks. And how many parts? Up, out, back, and down. Those are still four. A side kick comes with the side and hits with the heel. Give yourself two claps. With accidents, we're going to make this stronger. If you have a grown up there or a sibling, they're going to hold the noodle and you're going to pick up the opposite leg and throw a side kick. And they're going to pull it and you're going to side kick. You're not going to just do what I did, like, ha ha, fight your sword over here. Kick, kick, no. They're going to pull you and with every pull, you're gonna throw a kick. Boom. Balancing on them, teamwork, but working on what's called a machine kick, a pump kick. So every kick, instead of just one, you can do more and more. So I'm gonna give you a minute using the noodle. They can pull forward and you can kick towards them. If you're ready for a challenge, they can pull the other way and you can kick the opposite direction. One minute, have fun.
each other, but with yourself, if you're ready for it, you're gonna put your hula hoop down or draw a circle, and you're gonna do side kicks around the inner circle or around the outer circle. This is, takes excellence. So if you wanna do this today, more power to you. You're gonna be like, you know what? I did that other two, it was really hard. I'm gonna work on this, but I'm gonna try even harder another day. That is okay too. Do what you can now and work on it later. As Yoda says, there is no try. There is only do. Or something fancy like that. I'm not Yoda. So we're gonna put that foot up and we're going to side kick as you go around. If you want, you can just put your foot around and see if you can get some movement. And then when you're ready, working on excellence, being brave, showing courage, pick up the foot and start side kicking around the circle. I'm gonna give you 90 seconds, because this one's a little harder. Push yourself, be your favorite self. Go. stretches, maybe even some nice yoga moves to calm your heart, warm your legs, as I read you this month's lesson. Well, this week's lesson, to get us in the right mindset for the rest. Comfy, keep stretching, breathing deeply, or lock it up. The young prince had never seen a dragon before. There was a young prince, maybe even a young princess. Imagine you sure what you'd like it to be, maybe a mod. There is a young warrior. Some call him a prince, a knight. Others think that in the story it's a princess. But this warrior had never seen a dragon. But they had heard and knew of the great strength and the hot fire that could breathe out of this creature. His fierce nostrils and his scary looking eyes. Warrior was all alone one morning out in fields, kind of like this season. We wake up, there's frost on the tip of everything. It was this morning, by stillness of early dawn, the dragon appeared. Imagine a dragon just pop in your backyard. He had gone for an early ride on his favorite horse and just galloped down the path into the woods. As they turned the corner, he found himself face to face with the dragon. Who do you think was more surprised? The dragon or the warrior? The child? The warrior could have turned on his horse and run right away. He maybe would have escaped, but the dragon was heading. Surely others would be hurt or harmed, killed even. With his heart beating fast with fright, Chug drew his sword. 
back then they had it, had swords like on their side, like all the time. And you charge straight at the dragon. Like a bee, of course, the honey. The dragon was so stunned by this child's courageous, courageous charge that it turned and ran away. The dragon was gone. The kingdom was saved. Did the prince have courage? Do we need courage today? On the map and in life? Why? We don't have these scaly reptiles marching around town. Your speech. Yes, there are dragons in our lives that may not look like the dragons in fairy tales, but there are things that require us to pull our shoulders back, speak up for ourselves, and listen to the still small voice in our hearts and our minds that says, Be brave, be you. So, this week in the spirit of Hanukkah, every day I want you to put down a list of the things in your day that require courage, your daily dragons. You can do one a day for the next seven days, eight, seven, eight days, or you can do one today to the next, building up each day. But take this opportunity to see the light inside yourself and how much light you bring into the world around you by saying, I am me. I am brave. And being your favorite self. So let's get back up. I'm going to put up a nice, quick, fancy activity on the screen. Get right into it. Channel that spirit and be the best. Not the best. Be your favorite you. Let's go.
may encourage to prepare for graduation. That is next month in January 2022. So let's start with our I don't want in trouble. It is big bite. So we'll give you 30 seconds to play shoulder tag with your grown up or your sibling or tag team. You're gonna move around, moving in, moving out, and you're gonna try to tag them on the shoulder or even tag them on the knee. But you wanna be in and out like a serpent. Go. You got faster, gliding your toes. That's important for our sparring combinations, just to give you tag, but it's always really quick to react like that with our eye in trouble. Said earlier, it is trap. Trap is known as big bite, and it's quick like a serpent, reacting, controlling our power, and getting out of there. Let's do it all together, slowly. We're gonna turn sideways. Eye in trouble. Take my right hand, trap my left shoulder, like I'm giving myself a half hug, hiding under Batman's cape, stepping back with that right foot. So whatever hand is trapping, that foot is stepping back. Lifting up to the sky as if I'm saying, pick me, pick me. And I'm doing a nice big arm circle. Dropping my elbow into my side, clenching, boom, and opening up my fingers as if I'm spreading them. Taking my back hand, palm strike, if I'm there, I'm gonna do something. Quickly, kick, one step, two step. Let's do it again, a little bit faster. Finally, trouble, trap. Wrap, clench, hit, one step, two step. Before we do it a little bit faster, if they're grabbing my left shoulder, what arm's doing the big circle? Left. My right side is doing all the work. Challenge time. It's gonna take some courage. Let's do it on the other side. Trappy with my left to my right. Batman cape, stepping back with my left, arm circle, backwards arm circle with my right, clenching that elbow as if I have a platter of food on my right hand, rotate in, kick, one step, two step, ah yeah, let's do it again. I don't want trouble, trap, at the same time, hands. Wrap and step, rotate in. What chance you is this called? Bonus, it's a forward bow. Front kick, one step, two step. Ah, yeah. Give yourself two claps. Your grown up or your sibling is going to take a hula hoop or a pillow or an or something, and they're going to put it out. They're going to hold on to it. When they put it out like this, whoosh, flag of go for the bull. They're going to put it out, and as soon as they put it out, you're going to go 
trap, trap, and you're gonna kick that target. Kick the red flag, kick through the hula hoop, whatever target they put out, as soon as you see it, react, boom, trap, kick the target, one, two, three, and get out. Are you ready? I'm gonna give you 90 seconds. Lay around with both hands. Build up your excellence as that courage is strengthened. Go. Switch it, 
Mess with them. I'm committed to work on these changes, and by work on it, I mean seating right there, toe heel line, forward bow, go back to toe heel line, turn the foot, step, see if you can step forward into the toe heel line, back to forward. Can you jump switch? Toe heel. Can you turn the other direction, switch step, forward bow, and then step forward to toe heel? Have fun with it. Maybe just stand there and be like, shoot me a word, shoot me a word. You're going to be like, Neutral bow, you're like, bam, neutral bow. They'll be like, forward bow, they'll be like, bam. They'll be like, switch side, forward bow, they'll be like, okay, I'm cool, 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 I got this. So 90 seconds, put the stances, work through them, feel your hips, but take the focus of last month and make eight action karate form one, part A, stances, your favorite. Let's do that from the top. 
One, two, three, up. One, two, three, down. Up, down. Now add in hip, hip, alright. Hip, hip. Alright, no fancy spin, just a standard. Do it again, hip, hip. Alright, very nice. We'll bend a little lower. There you go. Backward circles. One, two, three, up. And down. One, two, three, down. Up, down. Hip, hip. Alright. From here, find the nunchuck. Ready? Lock with the other side. Belly, nose, whichever hand's on your nose, the other hand lets go to the other side. One, two, three, yes! And now we're gonna go the other way. One, two, three, down. Let's do that again. The backward circles is for backwards. One, two, three, back. And then forward circles, one, two, three, is for down. Now up, down, into, hip, hip, hooray. Grab the nunchucks. Ready, block. Ready, set, courtesy. Give yourself two claps. How's your legs feeling? I love it. We're gonna do that again, and then we're gonna have a challenge. Because challenges, though they are hard, if you do it with courage, you'll come out the other side with a lesson learned, and hopefully better than you started. Go bend those knees. Ready? With our left hand. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, down. Up, down. Hip, hip, bend a little lower. There it is. Lock to the other side. Backward circles. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, down. Up, down. Hip, hip, right. Finally block. Together and curtsy and shake them out. I'm gonna put up a clock for 30 seconds. All you're gonna do, just your left side, up downs. I'm gonna do 15 seconds of just up downs with your right hand. And then I'm gonna block and then do 15 seconds of the other one. And you're gonna see which leg. leg. This is now your leg, your chicken wing is your leg. So the clock is going to be up for 30 seconds. First 15 seconds, one side. And then switch fast as you can. And how many can you do on the other side? And you're gonna see. And let me know. How many do you did on the left side? How many did on the right side? As soon as the other goes, block. And then switch to the other side. Go. Slapping, that's okay. As you progress with nunchucks, you want to start working with the, the bottom inch. That's what's bouncing off you. You're not striking yourself, you're striking the target. You're bouncing off yourself, like a dodgeball on a wall. Or your friend's face if you're playing crack about. Unintentional hits. The next challenge is your backward circles. And we're not going to be switching. You're gonna do 30 seconds of how many backward circles you can get. And then at the 30 second mark, you're gonna switch it to forward. And then, I'm gonna take a breather and do the other side. 30 seconds. And then, 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And see how many you can do. And then, when that timer is over, catch and let me know.
So, Friday, thank you for joining us. It brings joy to my heart, and I hope that you continue to feel the joy of the light shining in you as you feed it these skills and concepts and be your favorite self. Let me see those workouts, those pictures, those videos. Ask the questions. Share your victories. Share your concerns. And we will see you soon. Hands on back. Feet on floor. Courtesy. I'm dedicated to in the martial arts. And I live by the principles of a black belt. And they are integrity, concentration, perseverance, respect and obedience, self-control, humility, indomitable spirit, knowledge, power, black belt. Love you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.